to order the SD regular business meeting to order April 11th, 2023. Stand to the French. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Yeah. Here. Yeah. 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 Ask that we add the ALS BLS joint pre hospital billing agreement to the agenda as item 12. This is our um, standard intercept agreement. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I will make a motion to approve the agenda with the added ALS BLS. It's been moved and supported to approve the agenda with the addition of item number 12, the ALS BLS joint pre hospital billing agreement. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Declaration of conflict of interest. Conflicts. Presentation and special report. Grand Traverse County Commissioner Report. Hot dog. <laughs> Good evening, thank you. A uh, few items, uh, Mr. Jewett, he's at another meeting, he may or may not show up, but he asked me to share a couple of things as well. Um, recently, today, as a matter of fact, we had the equalization <coughs> came out today, and everybody, his stuff is worth more according to the state, so imagine that. <laughs> So the growth at least like that, which is good for those of us like to spend tax dollars. It's gonna look like it's gonna be a good year. The county's uh, Cole and Stoker, I believe, um, is an attorney out of the southeastern Michigan Metro Detroit area that the county has contracted with to be our legal counsel. They have, if you've been watching any of our meetings this last month, there'll be the big guy in the it's guy on the big screen off to the side, they fold themselves in. But then we actually used them quite a bit already, and it was a very favorable contract for them. So we're pretty happy about that. It's going to be cost savings, actually. What we feel probably would be a better service. We've also been yesterday or last week, and recently we've been looking at some of the boards that we have employees on, notably Beta. That's a conversation that we're having. We're working with Leland County to provide some better services for the tax hours that they spend. <clears throat> And as you probably read in the paper, there's some friction there. We've also kind of started taking a deep look at other departments that we have appointees on. Most recently, we had the pavilions over where we had a very interesting and depth, in depth conversation with our employees and the CEO of that as to why there's some shortcomings that they seem to have and nobody else seems to have. So that's pretty much, I'm going to guess that. It, oh, and of course, the per diem and the pay that we all have, you know, that's every couple of years. So we are going to do some language changes on that. And, Try to be something that's fancy and lead the way, transparent for the rest of the state to go, oh, that's awesome. Or not. I don't know. Uh, any questions? Sweet. Thank you. Okay, Thanks, Scott. Yeah. Community police officer. Good evening, Matt Kerchewski, Blair Township <coughs> Police Officer. This is the newsletter from March. CPO stats, my stats. Arrest two, citations 10, complaints 55, <coughs> crashes nine, warrants attained one, warrants declined two. On March 7th, the new uh, principal at Blair Elementary, Elementary texted me, he would come over there. They caught one of their fourth graders. Um, she had made a aluminum pipe and was smoking weed in the bathroom, so I had to deal with that. It's, I've been there around eight years, so it's only the second time I've had weed at Blair Elementary, so I think that's pretty good. Um, what's that? It is legal now, which brings me to my next point. Um, yeah, it's just a, the first offense for a juvenile is just a ticket, like a speeding ticket. So I had to give it to a mother, but it's written to the fourth grade. It's kind of odd. 
Um, and I contacted CPS, obviously, so they could be aware of that. Uh, Benton Hall in the trailer park on March 14th, a family called. They had an 18 year old family member that was struggling. He showed up in the middle of the night and crashed on the couch. They knew he had warrants, so they called me and were like, hey, come arrest him. So I went there and arrested him with handcuffs behind his back. He was able to slide a hand up and slide it in his front pocket and try to hand a little tin foil wrapper to uh, one of his family members, which was obviously drugs and it had fat and all in it. So he got another charge for that. You remember in January's report, the Menards break in. I mentioned that the driver made a mistake and he went through Huntington Bank and did a loop trying to leave. He was in haste when the alarm went off and uh, he did go in front of the ATM and they eventually got me a picture, a really good picture of the car and it was really unique. Detective Holiday did some work for me and he found that there was only like two in surrounding counties, so two white ones, it was a unique sports car and it had a tail light out on the left side. So I sent out an email with a picture and a state trooper up in Leedenau sent me a picture from his dash cam where he pulled over the car, the exact car with the taillight out on the left side. So I was able to get a suspect and a man in Blair Township at Blair Township home. And on March 15th, I did a search warrant on his house looking for pry tools and things of that nature. And um, during the search, we found a really large bag of crystal meth. So he got that charge. I have sent two hammers and I cut the boards off um, fencing at Menards and sent them to the crime lab with the hammers. So see if they can identify them and match them. But the report for the BE is at the prosecutor's office. I don't know if there's enough evidence to charge him. He did admit to. So we'll see. Any questions? Thank you. Thank you. I'm stuck on the 12 year olds. Oh, great. Nine and 12. Nine year olds. That'd be nine. Oh, nine. 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 Yeah. Nine. 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 nine year olds. Yeah. <laughs> We're almost <laughs> two. Great job, Kelly. Water loss committee report. I think we found a small portion of it. Uh, up on the highway. Yeah, that, that was the group last week. Yes. Um, we met last week and reviewed some expenditures that we will begin. Uh, once we get back from Metro and some quotes, we'll be presenting them to the board. So at this time, we have nothing to go, go further on. Treasurer's report. <clears throat> All right. The general fund is five million six hundred sixty-five thousand five hundred forty. Public safety fund is one million four hundred thirteen thousand one hundred sixty-two. Ambulance fund is one million three hundred twenty-six thousand nine hundred sixty-two. Metro Act fund is nineteen thousand nine hundred ninety-seven. Liquor law enforcement is forty-two thousand four fifty-six. Milk oil fund is twelve thousand four hundred fifty-eight. General Debt Service Fund is 369,840. Emergency Services Building Fund is 4,700,068. Sewer Fund is 2,004,077. Water Fund is 3,798,025. Current Tax Collection is 41,846 for a total of $19,394,432.92. Emergency services building is $2 million. Did I say, did I not? What did I say? Nothing. <laughs> no. Emergency Eric was staring at me. <laughs> that was random. How can I forget Eric's sounds <laughs> over? You said $4,700,000. Yeah. Yeah. Eight dollars. Four million seven hundred. That was the voted bonds. No. No, that was the voted bonds is three hundred and sixty nine thousand yeah. eight hundred forty. The sewer fund is two million. 
I think rewind. Any questions for Trace? Emergency Services Construction Manager Report. <clears throat> Did we start by confirming that number again? <laughs> We've got $32 left. What do you have left to do? Well, we're in trouble then. <laughs> <clears throat> Good evening, Chris Richter with RCI Construction Manager for the New Emergency Services Building. This is the April 11th uh, 30 day report. Uh, project status last 30 days. Bay Masonaries continue to construct exterior masonry walls, completing the south end main level exterior upper walls, the north end office area, and they're currently working on completion of the mezzanine area uh, upper level exterior walls. So that's the north, what we kind of call the north core, just outside of the apparatus bay. Uh, Jacqueline Steel completed setting the bar joists, decking, and structural steel stairs at the lower level area. That's the main level deck. So that's essentially the difference between the what we're calling the main level. People keep referring to it as a basement. We're going at the lower level. So it creates yeah. a ceiling and floor line between the two. <clears throat> they also set the steel at the mezzanine deck here. If you've been out there, you've noticed that as well. Uh, DNW and Windmill Electric both completed underground work at the lower level. Shepherd's Concrete poured the lower level building slab Monday, yesterday. Elmer's returned to the site to clean up some rough grade work, backfill and prep the trail restroom for installation of interior footings and uh, re working into the next 30 days, you'll see they're, they're gonna stay out there at that site and continue with site utilities and storm uh, and the, the water main extension. So. <clears throat> the progress outlook for the next 30 days, Bay Masonry will continue to construct the walls above the mezzanine area, move back to the south end of the apparatus truck bay for completion of the tall separation walls, We're essentially finishing the north end, then finishing the south end, and then the last walls will be the apparatus bay walls. <clears throat> essentially, they need a structure on both ends to tie those walls into. So that's what you're going to witness in the next 30 days. <clears throat> Bay Masonry currently is anticipated to complete on May 19th. So you have that in your you have that in your notes. Who's keeping track of the schedule? Uh, Jacqueline Steele will complete bar joists and decking at the north office area and mezzanine upper level roof deck before moving back to that south end for completion of that upper level roof deck in the living quarters area. <clears throat> Once Bay Masonry completes the east and west apparatus bay, then the last portion of the steel will be the apparatus bay, the main core section through the uh, center of the building. <clears throat> they anticipate being completed May 12th. The Bay Masonry will be about a week behind them after the steel is set. There's still some masonry that has to take place uh, after, after all the steel is in place. <clears throat> DNW and Mechanical will continue with Underground at the North Office area and then move to rough work in the mezzanine and the office area. So essentially, Mason, Iron Workers are following the Masons, m and &E -E are following behind them. So everything's working out sequence-wise perfectly. Um, Shepherd's Concrete will continue to follow MEP Underground at the North Office area and then move to the mezzanine. I believe that's changed and it's the mezzanine is going to go first before that lower level, but in either case, concrete slabs, you'll start seeing slabs on deck being poured, you'll start seeing slabs on grade being poured, starting at the north end. As I noted, Elmer's uh, is going to stay on site, complete backfill of all the areas that are available. They're going to begin site utility, stormwater, fire, domestic water. Um, I do not have a confirmation from them yet on when, you know, Nicole, you had asked about the uh, water main coming in under the highway and Patrick had approached 
uh, Eric and I at a recent meeting here about having a pre-construction meeting for that. So <clears throat> once I have that date, I'll, I'll inform the group here. Project schedule overview. overview. The uh, updated formal project schedule was issued on Friday, March 31st. The schedule uh, was adjusted for any lost time over the past winter months. Resequence trade interactions for completion of the work at certain areas. And it does indicate that the project will be back on its original timeline uh, at some point in the month of June. <clears throat> you know that I've kind of been reporting that the last couple of months that that's what we could see on paper. Uh, good weather is what we need now, just consistent good weather. And I, I believe by June we'll be right back on the original October schedule. <clears throat> Therefore, project completion, as noted in, in your uh, board reports, is still projected right before Christmas. So we're not moving our finish date. Safety report, 120 working days on site, no accidents or injuries. No noted claims or disputes. <clears throat> Budget, no change. All costs are continuing to track as per the originally approved budget with no noted concerns. Contingency and allowances. We've made no changes to the contingency or allowance funds. Um, they continue to be robust and very healthy at this stage of the project and we have no current issues or concerns. Uh, bids were solicited. That was noted at last month's, uh, last month's progress re report. Bids were solicited and received from multiple bid packages on Tuesday, April the 4th, and the following responses were received at that time. Bid package 06A cabinetry and countertops. We have one bid from cabinets by Robert. Flags and flagpoles, no bids. Furniture, fixtures, and equipment, we received three bids. Window coverings, no bids and the SCBA air compressor equipment, no bids. The received bids are currently being reviewed for compliance and pricing. Formal recommendations will be made after completion of the review and any necessary post-bid interviews with the bidders. <laughs> Packages which did not receive the bids uh, will be resolicited to known vendors. <clears throat> kind of disappointing of the turnout. Um, I did do a little bit of research. I had a chance to talk to, talk almost daily with Eric. And uh, one of the biggest issues right now, we the project was solicited through the Grand Rapids Builders Exchange, you know, the normal avenues. The cabinet industry right now is struggling as much as any, any of the trades, any restaurant, any hotel, any, and um, the local companies up here are simply overwhelmed. Um, we received no out of town. We had Trellis, one of the furniture companies in Dallas State, but very, very weak response. So we'll do our best to resolicit some of these packages. And I have a meeting uh, Thursday afternoon with Eric and Nicole to review those uh, furnishings packages and then hopefully we'll, right now, at least we don't have any budget issues, we just need to find a couple bidders to fulfill some, some of the open work. Any questions? Very good. Okay, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. Thanks, Chris. <clears throat> Announcements and correspondence. Um, our active shooter run height run height flight training was held here March 31st and I was really impressed with the turnout. Um, do you know how many election workers? I think probably about 30. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. They really appreciated it and enjoyed it. It was it was good. So I'm glad that we did that. Me too. Um, our Easter egg hunt was a huge success. Thank you everybody that participated. We got 6,000 eggs stuffed, <laughs> finished stuffing on Friday. 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 Um, and the, the ballpark's definitely the place to have the Easter egg hunt. Everybody was happy. 
I had so many compliments as people were leaving the park. So I have two kids crying, but parents confirmed that it was because they were cold. <laughs> <laughs> Not because they didn't get eggs. So I was happy about that. Uh, Vance Road cleanup Saturday, April 22nd. Meet here at the township at 9 a.m. Everybody watched their little um, Grand Charles County Road safety video. <clears throat> You got a video we gotta watch? Yeah. Mm. When yeah. okay. I'll, I'll send it out tomorrow. Yeah, I'll yeah. Because my wife's gonna help too because with me walking and picking up, it was a little wet. I might fall down. So she's gonna be with me. He's gonna fall down, she can pick me up. <laughs> <laughs> what a wife for, eh? Yeah. <laughs> no. I was wa I was walking behind you. Uh, never mind. Right, I'll get a job here. <laughs> Andy, wipe that up. Don't record that. April twenty fourth, I'm going to be hosting a stakeholder meeting for uh, stakeholder input for the development of non motorized trails through mm -hmm. our our new property and the emergency services building. Um, I think I sent out thirty five invitations today. I've already got six RSVPs back. So hopefully we'll have a good turnout for that. And then once we have the stakeholder, um, and that's basically just to find out our businesses and some of our, our how do you say this? Investors, if you will, um, in the community to see what kind of excitement ideas that's the first start. Um, then we'll just move we'll in public input sessions. And I'm gonna try to coincide with bringing Arthur Mullen, who is our Parks and Rec planner that we hired. Our Parks and Rec plan, I've been working on that the last couple of weeks. We've got a lot of changes that need to be made in our Parks and Rec plan. And the Parks and Rec plan expires at the end of this year. I thought it was mid-year. So I can breathe a little bit better. I was panicked because you, that has to be up to date before grant submissions. Um, and also I started working and researching township park ordinances because our current township park ordinance is completely outdated. And it still talks about renting the pavilion and all sorts of things that we no longer do. So April and May are gonna be busy with parks and rec stuff and trail meetings and grant writing. Um, Township cleanup day, May 6th, 8 a.m., 12 p.m. Mm -hmm. Sad, sad to announce that we won't have Jacob Campbell here. And he's our tires and metals guy. So we had two residents, young, 30-year-olds, come in today to get a land use application. I'm like, hey, what are you guys doing on May 6th? Uh, <laughs> so they actually both put it on their calendar and said they had interest and they probably will let me know in the next week, you know, a final commitment where we can put them. That That's the hardest job out there is the tires and wheels and, and metal, and that's typically Lisa, Jake, and Aaron, and we don't know if Aaron's going to be available, so we're going to need help. My weight restriction won't be off. I'm sorry. I know. <laughs> wow. I'm going to call Earl. What, what, so what about mm -hmm. Young's Council? Uh, yeah. got talk about you. <laughs> yeah. That's all I have for announcements and correspondence. Okay, question. The annual MTA Grand Trail Resort, that starts Monday, right? Correct. Yeah, I will be there. Who else? I'm a, I'll be taking some attending informational um, seminars or whatever there. Who else is going? I am. Cool. I'll see you there. You got you being there too, Tracy? Good. Okay, cool. See you there. With my Roaring Twenties outfit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Any other announcements? 
Consent calendar. The purpose of the consent calendar is to expedite business by grouping non-controversial items together to be dealt with in one board motion without discussion. Any member of the board may ask that any item of the consent calendar be removed and placed elsewhere on the agenda for full discussion. Such requests will automatically be respected. Does anybody have uh, any more? I'd like to pull the minutes from the March 22nd budget workshop for a correction. Um, this is the deputy supervisor meeting and it should say the deputy supervisor position. Is it on the March 15th? 20 March 22nd. 22nd. Yeah. yeah, but this is March 15th. Oh, March 15th and 22nd show the same one. Mm -hmm. I guess I will have to bring these back to the next meeting what was for that? approval. What, what was that? Cut and paste stuff? I love that. <laughs> I love the copy and paste. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else from the consent calendar? Are you just removing those? Hold on just a second here. I know, but it's just the last, it's just the last sentence. So, which one of these, well, let me see right here. Okay, so the March 22nd, March 22nd minutes that last sentence can go and the March 15th minutes it needs to say the deputy supervisor position, position instead of meeting just forgot to delete a sentence we, we had a conversation, Lisa and Lynette and yeah. I, tonight before the meeting about cutting and pasting. They both like to do it. And I said, I don't. I will retake the whole thing because there's so but many errors. And, and I said, sometimes that gets you in trouble. And it did. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to make a motion? Motion to approve the consent calendar with changes. Been moved and supported to approve the consent calendar with the minute changes. Any further discussion? Roll call. Please. Yes. Campbell. Yes. Fitzpatrick. Yes. Wolfgang. Yes. Blanchine. Yes. Kutra. Yes. Thanks. Yes. Yeah. Unfinished old business. We'll get to it. One of these meetings, but not tonight. <laughs> we still don't have it ready. New business, public hearing. We close our regular meeting at 6.30 and open up our public hearing. First public hearing. Uh, the applicant, Site 1 Landscape Supply, is requesting a special use site plan review approval. Case number SUSPR 230301 to establish a 1.94 acre outdoor storage area on vacant property located in Chums Village, <clears throat> south of the proposed established building on lot number 56 of Century Storage, parcel number 
Okay. 02-225-057-00. Is there anybody here who wants to give us any input? public hearing open just for a minute and then we'll close it. Close the public hearing at 631. Discussion? Nothing. Nothing, please. Does anyone entertain a motion? Sure. I can make a motion. The motion to approve case number SUSPR 23 03 01 as recommended by the Planning Commission as it has met the standards of approval in section 2204. A through G of the Blair Township Zoning Ordinance. Support. <clears throat> it's been moved and supported to approve SUSPR 230301 Site 1 Landscaping Supply as it has met the standards for approval as required in Section 2204 A through G of the Blair Township Zoning Ordinance. And is recommended by the planning commission. Mm -hmm. Any further discussion? Roll call. Wolfgang? Yes. Zeitz? Yes. Fitzpatrick? Yes. Campbell? Yes. Kutra? Yes. Please? Yes. <clears throat> Blanchine? Yes. <clears throat> The applicant, Callahan Supply. LLC is requesting a special use site plan review approval. Case number SUSPR 230302 to establish a cement mixing plant in Major Contractor's Yard with future offices on vacant property located on Bristol Road, which is a private road that runs off from Blair Town Hall Road. Parcel numbers 02021005 02 and 02. 021005-03. Anybody here wish to speak? Yes. She just kept it open. Okay. <clears throat> it was 634. 634 now. Mm -hmm. Any discussion? Did everybody notice that there was quite a few special conditions? Yeah. Yes. The amended site plans were submitted to me this morning. Which so change is required. So all those conditions were met. I have not looked at them yet, but I'm going to assume as much. 
Otherwise, Chris will hear about it. Which <laughs> Chris? <laughs> 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 be specific to which Chris. Moral. I would move to approve special use number 230302 Callahan Supply <clears throat> as it meets the condition the standards for approval in section 2204 of the Blair Township <coughs> zoning ordinance and was recommended by the Blair Township Planning Commission with the following conditions. One, that the special use is approved by the Blair Township Board of Trustees. Two, that <coughs> the connection of the water main is complete before the construction of the office building. Three, that the land division of the combination, the land division of the combination of the two up blocks into one is approved. That just doesn't make a lot of sense to me. The combination. The land division. The combination. Combination. Strike, yeah. strike division. Okay, that the combination of the two lots into one is approved. For that the setback of the right of way of 50 feet from the easement <clears throat> to the office building is corrected on the site plan. Number five, that the addition of two parking spaces is added to the site plan. Number six, that the addition of five more trees are added to the right of way. And I think that is the last one. Support. <laughs> it's been moved and supported to approve case SU 230302 as it meets standards for approval as required in section 2204 A through G of the Blair Township Zoning Ordinance and has been recommended by the Blair Township Planning Commission with the following conditions. Number one, the special use is approved by the Blair Township Board of Trustees. Number two, the connection of the water main is complete before the construction of the office building. Number three, that the combination of two lots into one is approved. Number four, that the setback of the right of way of 50 feet from the easement to the office building is corrected on the site plan. Number five, that the addition of two parking spaces is added to the site plan. Number six, that the addition of five or more trees are added to the right of way. That's it, any further discussion? Roll call. Please? Yes. Zeitz? Yes. Campbell? Yes. Blanchine? Yes. Fitzpatrick? Yes. Kutra? Yes. Wolfgang? Yes. Welcome to the township. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for investing in your business, your company, and bringing you to our township. I know you're going to have several employees, and I know that you're a reputable yeah. company, and you have decent pay and benefits, so we appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Of course, but you're just here late. <laughs> he said you're just a year late. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there. New business item two, Sawyer Woods West Commercial Condominium Community Septic. Did you guys read this? Yeah. All of this. Um, actually, we wrote the letter. I already signed it, but I'll, I'll give him a copy of the letter if, if we all agree to this, which I think I think we will. Is, is there any discussion on it? I'll make the motion to decline assuming responsibility for the operating and maintaining the proposed Sawyer Woods West Community Septic System and authorize the Township Supervisor to sign the attached letter. Support. Support. Any further discussion? You guys were good with the rewritten letter that I did? Yeah. Yeah, I heard Okay. Okay. I, I kind of copied it from the one that we did a few months ago for that other development whatever it's called silver lake storage, silver lake storage yeah <laughs> thank you
Thank you. Yeah, that works. Uh, roll call. Blanchard? Yes. yes. Please? Yes. Knight? Yes. yes. Wolfgang? Yes. Fitzpatrick? Yes. Kutra? Yes. Campbell? Yes. Okay. Item 3, budget amendments. This was my mistake. We already had money budgeted for other federal grants, and I brought a budget amendment to the state grant line item to the board a while back. And now I'm just trying to fix it. So we just need to amend the budget by decreasing uh, state grants in the general fund revenue by $18,139. Support. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's been moved and supported to amend the general fund budget state grant line item uh, by $18,139 and in place in other federal grants. Oh, we already budgeted money for it. Yeah. Any further discussion? Roll call. Sites? Yes. Please? Yes. Campbell? Yes. Wolfgang? Yes. Fitzpatrick? Yes. Fitzpatrick? Yes. Blanchard? Yes. <clears throat> Approval of agreement for collection of summer taxes. This is just an extension from what we do every other year. Collect the TCAP summer taxes in July. And then they pay us two dollars and fifty cents a parcel to do so. Which, you know, I heard you and Tracy talking about it. That, that's kind of it. Should some I don't know. They, they should give us an increase. But yeah, that's what we talked about. But we talked that we'd have to go as a county wide to do yeah. it, not just. A couple by townships, yeah. They tried to do it a few years ago, and the, the county treasurer that was in at that time just said, "Well, we'll just do it." Oh, just collect the taxes. Yeah, and that so that they get the two fifty. So everybody backed off then, and I don't think Heidi would say that. Right. I move to approve the agreement for collection of summer property taxes with TCAPs. Do you want me to also mention Bay, VEDA? This is just really through TCAPs is the only one that pays us. Okay, gotcha. With TCAPs then. It's been moved and supported to approve the agreement for collection of summer property taxes with TCAPs. Any further discussion? Do I need to say for both years, 23 and 24? Yeah. For 2023 and 2024. I'll still support. <laughs> Hopefully then after that, they can get up. Everybody can get together and get Roll call. Fitzpatrick? Yes. Kutra? Yes. Blanchine? Yes. Please? Yes. Wolfgang? Yes. Zeitz? Yes. Campbell? Yes. Item five, part-time deputy supervisor. So after our budget meeting, I was doing a little research to try to find a job description. And I went to MTA and I found more than just a job description, I found a PowerPoint presentation mm -hmm. from MTA, which actually, um, That's interesting. yeah, statutorily, I have the authority to appoint my own deputy. Um, <coughs> What the board, just, just like the other deputies, what the board has the authority to do is set the hours and wages. So I'm here tonight to my colleagues to say I would like to appoint Carl Beringer as my deputy supervisor. Um, and I'll just read this so the audience is aware. The township supervisor may appoint a deputy township supervisor who shall serve at the pleasure of the supervisor. The deputy supervisor shall take the oath of office and file the oath with the township clerk. In cases of absence, sickness, death, or other disabilities of the supervisor, the deputy shall possess the powers to perform the duties of the supervisor 
except the deputy shall not have a vote on the township board. The deputy shall be paid by salary or otherwise as the township board determines appropriate. With the approval of the supervisor, the deputy may assist the supervisor in the performance of the supervisor's duty at any additional times agreed upon between the township board and the supervisor, except the deputy shall not have a vote on the township board. I also, and further in here, um, in my absence, the deputy supervisor doesn't chair the meeting. Um, so statutorily, and I'd just like to point out, I think when we were at budget meeting, what we were thinking, because the clerk and the treasurer have to appoint a deputy, correct? But the supervisor may. And um, there was also talk about, well, should it be a deputy supervisor or a manager? And in the case of a manager, we would have, really had to have a job description but the the law says what yes right. what the deputy supervisor does right. so mm -hmm. good five yeah yeah and and the deputy supervisor statutory duties are exact same as the supervisor in the event of my absence um, what they can't do, cannot moderate board meetings. Um, so you yeah. cannot vote. You can't vote, right? Yeah. They cannot be. Yeah, and I, I know we talked at budget time about, you know, part-time, no benefits, up to 25 hours a week. Um, I, that would be huge. I think that would be very beneficial not only to me, but to all of us. Yes. Um, Carl's history and knowledge, his background, I mean, he's worked for this township for 30 years. He's been on speed dial since we've been in office for electrical stuff in the building, the splash pad, the park, water, sewer. Um, so, yeah, I think he would be very, very beneficial. Yeah, I agree. And just one other thing I thought of just now, when when we go to, after fire and EMS move out, we go to remodel this building. Right. He's going to know a lot about right. The, right. the bones in this building. Right. And then the next. Oh, we're buried. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're buried. You know, right now we're looking at <coughs> system upgrades in improvements to the sewer lift station. We are looking at $5 million worth of uh, wells, two new wells, another treatment plant, a whole lot of stuff. Um, I know how involved I have been with this emergency services building, and that's kind of my backdrop. Kind of know a little bit, you know, when it was the design phase and stuff, but water and sewer is, is not me. Um, so be very beneficial for yes. what's coming in our near future. Will 25 <clears throat> hours be enough? I got, it's nothing right now, so <laughs> about 25 hours, I'd be beyond grateful. Um, you know, and that's something that we could look at next year, you know, if it's, yeah. Oh, we're gonna be wrapped up one way or another, so. Yeah. Well, I would make a motion to appoint. Well, yeah. I don't. I don't even have to make a motion. No, no, no. We just no, said no, no. Two hours, hours and wages. And hours. Oh, yeah. I would make a motion to set the deputy supervisors. Hours at did you, up to twenty five hours a week mm -hmm. at a pay rate of twenty five dollars an hour, no benefits. I support that. It's been moved and supported to set the deputy supervisors' hours and wages um, up to twenty five hours a week at twenty five dollars an hour with no benefits. 
Any further discussion? <clears throat> Roll call. Campbell? Yes. Putra? Putra? No. <laughs> he knows what I'm doing. Yes, we just can't beat us too much in waste time, okay? Yes, I approve that wholeheartedly, okay? Fitzpatrick? Yes. Blanchine? Yes. Sykes? Yes. Wolfgang? Yes. Wait. Yes. What we didn't say is that when do we start? I don't know. I mean, I think. Do you have yeah. to? I think. Uh, I think we can sit down and discuss that. Yeah, I mean, okay. we've approved the wage yeah. and the hours, okay. so. Yeah, perfect. And this has okay. been long for me. So, this is excellent. Item six, approve new quote for custom stone base for sign out front. So last year we had the sign installed, but it took so long for us to get the sign that um, we couldn't get the base done. Mm -hmm. This quote, because I knew prices probably had changed. So this quote is from the, the, the gentleman that we approved going with last mm -hmm. year. Yeah. It's just re-quoted. Right. And um, we are using ARPA funds for this, so I wanted an updated price. So, like I said, I'm trying to keep track of where we're <clears throat> spending and committing things. So, this is what we got. And he said he could have it done before June 30th, so we could okay. we could still get it in this. Oh. here. I mean, it's ARPA funds, but I still need to know. I mean. So I just want a motion, just okay. because the price is different. different. Motion to approve new quote for custom stone base for the sign up front for $7,000. From? ARPA fund. No, Martel Custom Stone. Oh. Yes. <laughs> yes. And to be paid for with our book one. It's been moved and supported to approve spending seven thousand dollars to Martel Custom Stone for the base township sign out front uh, utilizing ARPA funds. Any further discussion? Roll call. Fitzpatrick. Yes. Please. Yes. Campbell. Yes. Wolfgang. Yes. Kutra. Yes. Sykes. Yes. Blanchine. Yes. Number seven. Commit ARPA funds. So if if you looked at the minutes I attached from our special meeting on January nineteenth, I had a list of. Um, well, I, I stated the current balance of the ARPA funds. Um, we have already mo made the motion to um, commit 150000 to EMS and fire. And we had committed to the base for the sign, but that's different now. But we never actually made a motion to commit money to the sewer lift station or the water plant. So I think we need to do that. And we budgeted for sewer 250,000, but I've got to know the county ARPA, but isn't the county ARPA going to the water fund? <clears throat> Never mind, I'm looking at water instead of sewer. I'm going to look at sewer. We budgeted $250,000 in ARPA funds in the sewer fund. So, so switch that to $300,000. Okay. 
Shall we wait? So I would. So the, the 300,000 will be for the water. sewer. The sewer. The sewer. I'm going to make a motion in here in a minute. Okay. So <laughs> I know I, 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 I do that to people. <laughs> Get them all confused. But as of Myself now, included. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dennis. What so the three hundred thousand for the sewer that's sure. Yes. Yeah. And then, so these are all yeah. correct here. It would, it would leave us a balance of three hundred forty-six thousand. Well, we're changing the base for the township sign to seven thousand. Well, yeah. What's I, I, I'm about that. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm trying to think if we've. Okay. I'm keeping track of it in an excel spreadsheet and i can bring an update next month but yes that should be pretty close and and ken ken had uh, informed me that he really wants to get started on that sewer lift station upgrade um, mid-summer we'd like to see it done uh, uh, before it's critical. I would make a motion to commit $300,000 of ARPA funds to upgrades to the main lift sewer lift station and $20,000 in ARPA funds to the water plant. Support. It's been moved and supported <clears throat> to commit $300,000 to the main sewer lift station for its needed upgrades and $20,000 to the water plant using our funds. Any further discussion? Roll call. Wolf King. Yes. Please. Yes. Campbell. Yes. Zeitz. Yeah. Kutra. Yeah. Lunchtime. Yes. Fitzpatrick. Yes. Another um, added bonus <coughs> to committing this money is we are applying uh, for the SRF grant ARPA dollars for <coughs> close to $5 million for our water mm -hmm. system upgrades. But this clearly <coughs> demonstrates that uh, we've committed the ARPA money that we received for the infrastructure improvements. So I know that scores us extra, um, extra points in the application process, which brings me to the SRF update. Um, Ken is working on getting a draft project plan together um, and he will send it to our Eagle project manager who will review everything. Um, and he said between April 15th and May 1st, that needs to be in for our Eagle rep to review. So as soon as I get a copy of what he sent them, I'll just forward it on to everybody. And at that point, start crossing your fingers. <laughs> Item eight, approval for road names for wildflower acres. I don't like it. <laughs> Just saying. You don't like the names? No. Too no, and I love fruity? I love flowers. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's just Is it night shade a poisonous flower? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what it's <laughs> I'll make a motion to approve the requested road names for wildflower acres. And the road names are as follows. Indigo Drive, Snap Dragon Drive, Magnolia Drive, Nightshade Lane, Aster Lane, and Zinnia Drive. How do you determine if it's gonna be a lane or a drive? That's what I wanna know. 
Just what sounds better make together? Make sure the bling sounds better than make sure. Those yeah. green have a gold right. side to them. I don't know. Oh, that could be. Maybe that's the turnaround one. Okay. I wouldn't want to live on that shade my hand. Too bad. We can look. Yeah. West Curry Drive used to have a cul de sac. It. Well, Here's one, Magnolia one, Drive. The one lane's got a couple of yeah. at the end, and the other one's a drive. And both got yeah, my Magnolia yeah. and Amster Lane. So, yep. nope. No. Either <laughs> that or these people don't know that. Yeah. <laughs> Google says one has a lake or stream near it. What? According to Google, a drive is a winding road that is just routed, shaped like nature, natural features such as lake or mountain. There you go. So it's a dart on a dartboard. Yeah. Okay. Did anybody support that? Yeah. I support. Any further discussion? Hmm. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Item nine, contribution to the Boom Boom Club. Their annual two hundred and fifty dollar contribution to the fireworks. <coughs> I move. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Okay, I'd like to make a motion to uh, approve a donation of two hundred fifty dollars to the Boom Boom Club. How about a contribution? contribution. Uh, huh? How about a contribution? A contribution. Of donation. Of two hundred fifty dollars to the Boom Boom Club. Support. Or it's been moved and supported <laughs> to approve a. $250 contribution to the Club. <coughs> Roll call. Fitzpatrick. Yes. Campbell. Yes. Wolfgang. Yes. Kutra. Yes. Zeitz. Yes. Lanshine. Yes. Please. Yes. Item 10. Declare EMS fire computer surplus to be destroyed. <coughs> Did you find this in that book, the computer? No, oh, that computer didn't have a number. Okay. Um, <coughs> just that doesn't make any sense. Um, Wixel had the serial number that matched in her book. So <coughs> that we got um, IQ, right? IQ, yeah. IQ3 as yeah. inventory. I meant it. Okay. I'll make a motion to declare one EMS fire computer computer surplus to be destroyed. Serial number 1089438-23. Support. It's been moved and supported to declare EMS fire computer <coughs> surplus to be destroyed. Serial number 1089438-23. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Item 11, declare two commander ice rescue suits surplus for disposal. I make a motion to declare two commander ice rescue suits surplus and dispose of them as they are not repairable. Okay. It's been moved and supported to declare two commander ice rescue suits surplus for this proposal. They have multiple holes and they are not repairable. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Did they get the holes just from running? Are those like the the original was yellow. I think that, yeah. Uh, uh, some of your visual will be switching to the suit. Yeah. Item 12 ALS BOS joint pre hospital billing agreement. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm distracted by the <laughs> <laughs> uh, So, this is a standard intercept agreement. Um, a couple years ago, we talked about the authority being mm -hmm. to take over the music and bus lane. Mm -hmm. They hired a, somebody with some experience in EMS and fire to be their director and get it put together. And hopefully, um, <coughs> we'll be have it up and running this summer. This is for when they do. This will be the intercept agreement for them. Just specifically for Buckley. It's. But they're authority now, so it's, it's Buckley authority, and Music. So, yeah, all four townships, so anything that Buckley and Music covers, yeah. 
this will cover it. Correct. We need to be able to no yep. longer be on this, so just want to be authority takes over. I move to approve the intercept agreement with York West Wexford Emergency Authority as presented. As presented. <laughs> Support. It's been moved and supported to approve the intercept ALS BLS joint pre hospital billing agreement between Northwest Wexford Emergency Authorities and uh, Blair Township Emergency Services as presented. Discussion? Roll call. Uh -huh. Yes. Zeitz? Yes. Please? Yes. Campbell? Yes. Blackburn? Yes. Okay? Yes. Yes. Uh, extended public input. Seeing no, we're adjourned.